Welcome back. I was only going to make one video today, but now I'm making two. We got 496 subscribers. And uh, welcome to the new subscriber. I don't understand how the uh, sometimes you know and sometimes you don't know. I'm just going to take a pair of gloves and put them in my back pocket anyway. And we're going to go. Let me see here. Alright. I did a bunch of woodwork today. And we got her up to there now. And uh, Recycle can't come soon enough. Because they missed last month. So I might have another bag by next week. Maybe two more bags. Freak. But. Let's go over the hill. And after the video that I shot earlier. I. Uh, managed to get that much more wood in. So it's coming. There's about three quarts there. And, uh, well, she's filling up. So, I also cut this side of the grass today. And a couple of swipes over on the other side. But Let's just go over the hill. Oh, frick, the old lady's in here and I can't get in. There we go. Get in here. <clears throat> Put my paw pin door closed. Yeah, I went to, uh, there we go. I went and I uh, decided to cut the lawn and then I must have stirred up a bunch of bugs. But talk about neat. I'll just show you before we take off. Those big freaking trees there. I wanted to get up as close as I can get to mow it. And uh, the green John Deere uh, mower was covered in yellow pollen from this thing. It was really bad. And my nose won't stop running now. All right, let's see what the old ladies listen to. Yippee do. And this is slow. Okay, she listens to 105 and I listen to the CBC. So let's put the uh and this thing's not working very good. Hands-free system available. I don't know how to do this. Load terrain. Open apps. Oh, maybe I got to do it with the button. Off-road. Well, cool is that. Uh, brought to you by Jeep. 794 feet. All right, let's go. Oh, my wife brought home Chinese food. God bless her. So, tomorrow I've got to... Uh, I gotta do lots of stuff. I gotta get. <clears throat> I gotta mow this once more. And I've got to. Uh, now what's banging? Right. Okay. 
Okay, so good news. My wife got her knee, her leg or whatever, checked at the doctor. Now, isn't that strange? If you go to the city of Fredericton, you could be sitting in there for eight hours in emergency. But if you drive down to Oromonto, which is another city, but it's small, pretty fair size for itself, uh, come on Bob, say it, it only takes a few hours to get through there. So anyway, I'm glad my wife went, she's just got to nurse it. And the grass is coming up here like crazy. Now she's all gung ho to plant potatoes tomorrow. Holy jeez. First, I gotta go out there and pick a bunch of rocks out of there because you can't cook with them and you can't grow much with rocks out of the uh, garden. What I do is I take the mower up and I'll take a uh, bucket, those plastic buckets. And I fill it up about half full, dump it into the uh, back of the cart, and then I'll back the cart up somewhere and just dump the rocks out. I probably got a couple of places that I could get rid of them. Uh, you've got lots of places, actually. So last night the deer were here on the left. And they come down in here, but I don't think they're here any too much longer because the grass is too high. They don't like that grass. I'm going to go in there and thin that out a bit. Is that a robin? A pair of robins. I think. Ooh, that's bright. Oh, something got up. But look at the flies. Try to kill them in here too. And they're nasty. They light down on you, and then they put their venom in there, and uh, it it burns right away. Looks like I got to come down here with the mower as well. That's another couple of hours. I don't want to lose my road because it gets overgrown. And it's almost impossible to come down here and do work. My skin's pretty sensitive. The bee bite, the bees, the different bite, biting bugs, mosquitoes. It doesn't help that I start to scratch it like crazy as well. And this is nothing for bugs right now. And last night I got a, not a too bad of a sleep for a change. That's the first time in, the, I don't know, maybe four days I sl didn't sleep. Oh well, not going to worry about it, because there's a day I'm going to go into a permanent sleep, so just want to check to make sure that uh, Bucky Beaver doesn't get in here, which is good.
Let's creep along. Boy, there's a lot of freaking rocks in here. And you can see that the, uh, since the leaves came out, the visibility has gone way down. So this year we're going to plant three different varieties of uh, potatoes. There will be a, uh, I'm not sure what you bought actually. She'll tell me later, but we got the Cannabic, which are nice white ones, the Pontiac, which is a red one, and another variety, and I'll swap, switch them up in the garden there. If we creep along here pretty quietly, we might be, might get lucky and see a bear. If we're lucky. usually see them is right here. No. Nothing. You can still see a ways in the woods, but not sure what the bears will be eating now. Probably just grass. And whatever other lucky things that they can get a hold of. And because we have those noisy dogs, we don't usually have a problem with uh bears at the house, but they do come up to the blackberry patch. I know that for sure. And it reminds me, I gotta do something about my uh, raccoon trap. I just kind of set it and forgot about it. I understand you can use uh, bananas as well in there. I just want to be careful what I catch because I don't want to get a skunk if I don't. I prefer not to actually, for obvious reasons. came off of that tree so bad that the lawnmower was just as yellow as could be. It must have been on there about a sixteenth of an inch thick. And I didn't notice it at first because the sun was in my eyes. Ooh, this is a freaking beaver, that old beaver down here. That's an old, uh, what do you say, mosquito pit for sure. come crashing down before too long. Mm. 
is still surviving. A few cedars growing in here at the side of the road. Now because this road does get a fair amount of light, uh, all these branches from these little alders on the side of the road here grow into the roadway and that's what starts to choke it off. And if you're not careful, if you don't keep it pushed back, then all of a sudden one day you're just not going to get down here unless you're driving a beat up old truck. So the house is 800 feet above sea level and now we're around 665 here. Which is, we've dropped down quite a bit. So when I break down with the mower here, it's a long uphill slog to get back to the house to get help. So tomorrow is supposed to be all sun. And the temperatures here are not too bad, but uh, I would like to get the potatoes in earlier. And apparently, you can put the potatoes in, like say now, and they can handle a little bit of frost damage as long as it's not real bad. I see Edmonton got a good dump of snow. <laughs> I wasn't. I don't think anybody was expecting that from t-shirts to parkas in, just in one day. Now the property here goes by my estimate another couple of hundred yards straight back. Just saying. I'm going to come in here with the mower as well. There's lots of nice clover here so that the... Uh, but there is no real dirt. It's just kind of like uh, whatever's on top of the uh, rocks that are underneath there. Now, if my son come down here and spent some more time, he could cut a lot of this underbrush out. That would uh, uh, do some spacing in here to allow these trees to grow. And by the time he got to retire in another 30, 25 years, well, it's coming quick there, Nick. Then you would have a, you know, like a little extra uh, money to put towards something that, uh, you know, is worth worthwhile having. And, uh, I'm really hoping that the uh, we swing the deal for the side-by-side uh, -side. and I'm wondering if there's some kind of a pull behind bush hog I can get that I could use for keeping these uh, this road open 
and some of the other places that I like to go on the property. Some ga kind of a gas powered thing that doesn't cost an arm and a leg to to use with a with an with an offset arm where the uh, piece of equipment can swing out from behind and uh, say do three three feet off the side of the road where I can still drive down the middle of the road. I don't know what you call that. Tractor guys would know. And if I had a big tractor, I would just drive over the side of the, here. I wouldn't need to bush hog it so much. Just keep driving over it that eventually it'll be wide. Now here's the place I gotta hit this fall. Clean this side up. Up to the little ditch that's down there. And the uh, National Hockey League playoffs start for my team tomorrow. Montreal and Toronto. And uh, I believe all our players are back, except possibly one who's... Uh, Hasn't been pre pre performing very well. And he may be out suffering uh, possible depression. It's all speculation, of course, but it's understandable. Canadians, for those that don't follow hockey, are still one of the best teams in the league overall since the beginning. Well, they are the top. And their last Stanley Cup, which is the premium, or the premier trophy to get. It was in 1993. So it's been a freaking long time here. We, we need a cup. And Toronto hasn't won a cup I think from 1957 or some damn thing. That's an awful long, that's a real long dry spell. But there are 16 teams trying for one trophy out of 30 teams, 31 or 29, whatever. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to count them up. And there's going to be a new team starting this year, uh, the Seattle Kraken or something. So that'll be a West Coast team. I still would like to build a blind here. And I've got an idea for one. I just came up with a bright idea to it, too. If it had some wheels on it, then you could just push it back into the side of the road. I want to get something that's got some heat in it. So even if I'm not hunting down here, which is very unlikely, I'm not going to probably bother now. I've done all my hunting. I just would like to sit down here in the fall and watch the animals during the rut. And a place that uh, me and the grandson can sit. And tell them stories of days gone by.
this is where I cut a tree down here. Or it blew down. I think it was this spring I cut it. This is the worst part of the road, this part right here. There's some pretty nasty rocks on here. It's not a bad looking Six sixty. Yeah, and we didn't win the 30 million. I won two bucks. I might not even have won anything. Actually, this is a draw tonight, and I got a ticket. And after I check this one out, if I don't win, I'll uh, give it up for a while. But I would uh, buy the property next to me and the property down the hill and try to see if the guy across the road would sell his property and that would give me the 600 acres here. And this is the only chunk that you can get outside of what Irving has around here. The rest of it, the thousands of acres, belongs to him. I kind of wonder what happened to those beavers. I get a flop. Right on. mess. Look at that. That's just a freaking mess. And you can see what I mean by the rocks. That tree's dead. Beavers got it chewed about three quarters of the way through. There's a couple of nice dried up sticks. That'll all grow back up. I'd like to get a great big excavator in here and just dig a couple of nice big pools. And 
been a guy could put a proper camp down here. And you're far enough away from all the noise. But I can see it, but you guys might not be able to. There is so many black flies here. They'll eat you alive. There's one there. Okay, let's just put the black fly here, folks. So hopefully tomorrow, if I do the rototilling, uh, I won't have to c come in and get a tight-fitting shirt on or something like that, or a, some kind of shirt that uh, I can keep the bugs from eating me. Oh, look at this. Man, look at this. Look at this. I hope. Can you see those bugs? I hope you can see them. Because those little buggers are the ones that are eat, eat they just eat you alive. And if you haven't experienced something like that, You might think, oh, that little bug isn't going to bother me. <laughs> well, that's kind of like why I like the fall. The fall comes, the first big killing frost. Pretty well wipes out the whole bug community. We do get a few more days of the odd one, but it's not usually that bad. I don't know how these guys on the side-by-sides that uh, don't have windows on them survive this. suppose I should bone up and find out if you have to wear a helmet and all that kind of stuff. Oh, there's a nice tree there, I think. Excuse me. Yeah, this could use a little bit of a mowing here. The rest of it's not bad. But I couldn't think of a nicer place than here to retire.
unless it was warmer. Well, this grass is growing like crazy. That guy's going to be here in probably a, a couple of weeks to get this cut. I'm just looking around here. You can't see the deer that come into the bottom of the field here. Until they're up a little higher up. see the when I st like after we feed the dogs they usually go outside to do their business right away but I let out storm a little earlier after he ate and then I brought the other two guys out and uh, the black flies around storm's eyes it was just like oh boy I felt I feel for you but he didn't seem to bother him couple of bee stings there on the bridge of his nose last year that was quite funny a big big lump you can see the trails up there where the dogs come down too I think I just might cut just the middle of the road down here instead of, I had been making it wider and wider, but I think I'll just leave it as it is, and that way that when the guy comes to haze it, he should be able to cut the sides for me and I won't have to do it. See storm up there. I think. Yep. Oh, it's a tamarack. Eastern white pine. Just up here on the left, it is loaded with freaking burdocks. I have no choice but to mow it <clears throat> so that they don't form into those little uh, burrs. have to come down here later with the shovel and dig some of them out. 
that I can't get to. Not sure, Nick, but I don't think the black walnut survived, nor the butternut. I'll come down here and mow this maybe tomorrow. the puppy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour. There we go. 800 feet. 18 degrees out. And we're looking southwest. No, we're not. Something wrong there. East is to the left towards the mailbox. We're looking more southeast. No apps running. What kind of apps is there? Settings. We don't have any of that stuff. Or that stuff. What else we got here? Bluetooth. Equalizer. But we got all that pinned. Well, just a second here and I'm going to go. Engine off options.
engine power delay. Don't know. Auto on driver heated steering wheel with vehicle start. All starts. That makes sense. Doors and locks. Flashlights with lock, yeah. No, whatever. Units. Oh. And display. Set theme. Good. All right, that's enough. Well, that's clear. Okay, anyway, thanks for coming along. Sorry, I get distracted sometimes. Tomorrow's another day. We'll be out here. Uh, Hopefully getting the potatoes in. And I'd like to thank you all for coming along and putting up with these sometimes maybe not so exciting videos. But uh, you all take care anyway. Well, let's go here. Lock it or lose it. Oh. There's a bit of a breeze, but I can't have the bucks. I don't know. I gotta go. I think I'll pick up that tomorrow. I'll make it nice and neat like that one. Okay. It's a done deal. Thanks for coming along. Oh, there's Mr. Storm. Doors are closed.